Have you ever researched how to culture green water in your house? Today I'm going to show you uh, the easy way to produce it on a consistent way. I have started interesting with the topic of green water to culture live foods like those moina in here and in here. Yeah. And as well Daphnia, bigger brother of Moina and more popular. As well Roti Fears. For the last summer I have been experimenting with different approaches to culture green water. I even used my uh, green bo um, grow box. Like in here I've got some uh, attempts of uh, chlorella that isn't doing so good in here. Some random uh, algae that are doing the best for me and less popular but as well a sweet water uh, algae like this one yeah that cup uh, contains the same algae you have to basically stir it up uh, to see proper results here is my chlorella really popular one like I've said, I don't have a lot of luck with it, as well you stir it up, are harder to separate. Uh, for stirring up in those tubes I am using power heads, they are constantly running. Probably a better way would be to set up some timer to save some power, but they are the raw power power heads. In bigger containers like this 15 liter bottle, it got just an uh, air tube up to the bottom and the main thing is to not keep it too long like after two three weeks it would be really dark but as well it would be uh, clamping together and going on bottom even with that uh, bubbles uh, so i prefer to keep it like three to five days it's brighter but even then it's quite a decent color like this is probably the same color but with uh, that LED lamp under beneath it it's brightening it if it's if it's turned off it would be darker color this one actually is so dense that even with a uh, LED lamp it's darker anyway you don't need to have a laboratory to produce bigger amounts of uh, green water uh, but consistent access to bright light like sun on summertime or LED lights like in my basement are sufficient and as well fertilizer. You know what, I could be more boring about this and speak about uh, that F2 formula for uh, phytoplankton which is basically green water but in here we don't care as much about best outcome like it's not uh, for eating uh, purpose for people uh, to rise some uh, cholerella or spirulina even salt water uh, algae but it's just for live food for fish so that proportion don't have to be as precise like I don't think on those Asia videos uh, that they are taking scoops or full hands of uh, fertilizers and putting in water that they aren't measuring it too much uh, I've seen people that are measuring and trying to reproduce F2 formula fertilizer which is quite expensive that fertilizer that's why people are trying to reproduce it but they are doing it for eating purpose so they don't want to overdose fertilizer because they would consume it on one or the other way those uh, macro elements and nitrates so for me what's most important just nit nitrates or in general or it's about nitrogen nitrogen for periodic table you know much is nitrogen in nitrates or NO3, NO2 uh, that F2 formula contains different variations uh, 
because so for me it's important totally how much nitrogen is and in fertilizer that I'm using how much it is uh, rest of it um, phosphor etc they are in here in there but I don't care about those proportions because uh, I'm just using one ingredient one fertilizer which I will tell later about it in this video for you in those fertilizers should be the most important I don't want to mirror uh, those numbers like it's uh, nitrogen phosphor and potas in percentage for me it's really too low nitrogen uh, proportion it should be much big so you are only focusing to give phy phytoplankton the most amount of nitrogen and a little bit of rest like in here you got exact values like nitrogen is consistent from two different uh, chemical ingredients I guess uh, you don't want to worry about it you are interested in total value I was using chat GPT to tell me how much nitrogen in one liter of water there is uh, in total uh, of that one atom uh, for periodic table and thanks to this I've made my adjustments for fertilizer that I'm using and that's it, it's crystallized fertilizer it don't have to be this company as it's uh, from Poland but in general crystallized fertilizer that have in his compounds nitrogen and in here you've got again those three numbers nitrogen potassium and phosphor like you said you can see there is 15 percent of nitrogen in here so that's better than previous three percent you can see that other values are as well bigger and what it mean that those three ingredients uh, are like above 40% of all ingredients in this fer crystallized fertilizer so in here you got a lot of stuff you don't want to have in your water with phytoplankton like you could say it's a filler more than just fertilizer for uh, put it in water <laughs> I wouldn't bother to find out what it is but it probably changes pH etc you don't want to have it a lot of in your water and you can see that fertilizer how it looks like it's kind of salty look for such amount of 15% of nitrogen in fertilizer which is easy to buy from different company you are interested in that 15 so um, it is like 16 16 grams per 100 milliliters water I mix it with 100 milliliters water 16 grams of this and this uh, concentrated fertilizer will be now liquid fertilizer I am using like 1 milliliter when per 1 liter of uh, water with uh, phytoplankton in it and I am feeding it like every second day or if it's really dense I could feed it every day or less dense every third day that amount of one milliliter per per liter so if in that bottle is 15 liters I would use such a bottle with a liquid fertilizer and pour in in here 15 milliliters which isn't a lot I don't know how in other countries bar but in mine it's like costing about a little bit more than one dollar 100 grams and it's I don't want to be mixing math but it's like 600 liters or more of uh, green water so it's a lot I don't promise that that proportion is like the best but it's kind of around of that F2 formula as talking about just nitrogen and if you pour in two times more or two times less 
it won't harm your water or your future uh, feeders like uh, Moina or Daphnia so it would be just growing more or less dense and depending on light as well uh, first attempt of my uh, green water was with just tap water and I didn't add any nitrogen and it was doing kind of okay like uh, it wasn't dying so um, that is a success and later I was using uh, fish water I was using the most polluted uh, fish tanks um, with higher dosage of nitrogen or the least water changed aquarium uh, it was as well fine but it isn't consistent like there's not much of nitrogen and there are live stuff like rotifers, ostracods etc so you are contaminating your green water with all your life rotifers aren't too bad in sweet water they are really little and they don't eat much of green water but this is more consistent you can experiment like giving it every day or every second day or increasing those dosages with a more consistent way and it's really easy to prepare and cheap here's like my Daphnia backup culture I kind of intentionally didn't talk about how to get your first uh, culture of phytoplankton because I don't really have a good plan uh, to share how to make it from nothing like from tap water or your tank people say it's easy just to you, you take your uh, tank water and put it on the sun with a lot of fertilizer uh, I was attempting to do such things but didn't succeed with it um, it probably depends on what tap water you've got, how much it is sterilized uh, yeah. I really got my first strain on named from uh, aquarist shop uh, shop owner had a really green water in one tank with fish by accident and I was saying well that's cool and he gave me a few liters of it bottle big bottle of it he was trying to get rid of it and it was almost coming back in that one tank so for me it is so strong yeah uh, I like it and actually I like it because it's not getting as clump, clumped and going bottom like chlorella it's really floating for a long time before it gets too heavy and I'm trying to not get it too dense, too heavy to go to it on bottom uh, because uh, I prefer to pour it into Moina or Daphnia and be sure that it will be still floating and most of it not going down yeah, I'm not sure is it really proper uh, thing process thinking but for me it's kind of working here yeah. I try to keep uh, those Moina and Daphnia water uh, always green so they would have always seen uh, it but in bigger tanks it's harder to do so I'm trying to keep not big tanks with those cultures it's easier to make it still green at summertime I was uh, keeping those bottles uh, on balcony and was using solar little solar uh, panel with, with uh, air uh, pump uh, connected to it I ordered it so it was just place it and use it I didn't have to engineer anything and was doing fine for summertime but in Europe uh, autumn or winter isn't as sunny so that pump wasn't working in shaded days and it was getting colder for me it's more difficult to get it from balcony and pour it 
in basement, put it in basement to use, so I prefer to have it in basement. I'm glad that this one is working really good. It's one meter of LED light and not so strong, probably like 9 watts and it's decent uh, solution to have a bigger volume uh, than these ones like they've, they've got like 4 liters so about 1 gallon of water and this one got 15 liters yeah after it's ready I'm uh, taking out 2 thirds of it to second container it can be in here in days without a strong light and I can pour out uh, to my moinha. Uh, don't worry about fertilizer because like uh, before taking it out I'm not fertilizing it for uh, two days uh, so I pour out two thirds of water put in fresh uh, water tap water I was separated with a tap water and it wasn't have any problems and adding fertilizer after ref refilling it with tap water or UV sterilized it's same results and if I know that I won't be using it uh, it will be for a few days in that light I'm adding that fertilizer every two days or so yeah like I've said I, mean, I could wait two weeks to have more dense uh, culture but for me it's efficient enough to have it every three four days yeah and just to be sure I'm not laughing at anybody that is using it more precise or using those Azure methods to to get those uh, fertilizers and put it in uh, sunlight and with some open uh, containers without lids uh, if it's working for them fine uh, maybe they got that climate that allows it easier for me even with those mosquitoes I wouldn't be risking I always got leads I didn't even uh, used original leads that they are sealing it really strong I've just used any plastic that covers top and pour in hole just the bubbles and that air is coming somewhere out uh, so there isn't any pressure in it yeah and in keeping on balcony in that way it was preventing any uh, mosquitoes or other life to go into that water.